a bigger one. Your hand is very big. Should we do our secret handshake quickly? Ready? Nice, say. Eh? Good remembering. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, everybody. Welcome to the second 38 vlog. Today is a bit of a transition day. I'm so excited, guys. Tell everyone who we're seeing today. Tell everyone who we're seeing today. Yes, <laughs> and Anthony. Diddy and Bella. And Uncle Jordan and Luffy. Yeah! We're so excited. It has been April, May, June, July. It's been like five months since we last saw them. And I just I can't wait to see like how much fun the kids all have together again. They were honestly like saying besties before we moved out to America and it was one of the hardest parts of, of leaving was them. So I'm so excited for them. They're out here for us for the summer and we are meeting up together in 38. They've been um, down in the south of Florida for a while. So today we're moving from our old Airbnb that you guys would have seen in the last vlog to a new Airbnb that we're going to share with them. Can you? Can I wear your sunglasses? Yeah, of course you can. We're just getting a little bit of breakfast. Oh my gosh, you look so cool. Hi everyone. Oh wow, you look so cool, babe. Come to Black Bear. Am I what? A hotel. A hotel? What do you mean? Yeah, we're going to What? I'm going to say you let me see your elbow. Why do you want to see my elbow? Did I hurt it? Yeah, what? Oh, well, I'm all right. Getting a little bit of breakfast at Black Bear Coffee. This is our first time coming here. Apparently, it's like a staple in 38. It's going to be a fun vlog. Okay, so let's check that everything's in here before we go. Oh, that's mummy's breakfast. That looks good. Is that daddy's breakfast? Yeah, let's see. That's dad's breakfast over there. Okay. And that's your porridge in there. Perfect. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> good. That's a good handshake, baby. Can you do this? Oh my gosh. No, I don't think I can do that. You're so wild. Yeah. Wow, very so strong. Good morning, Fatia. Open up your mind and down. Good morning, our new home. Can't wait to meet you. Listen to the music of the movie. We're just one big. Oh, guys. Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, we're at the new Airbnb. It's a beautiful day. I'll give you guys a tour later on. It's gorgeous here. Oh, look at that. The camera's fucked up. All right, you ready? Oh my yeah. gosh, guys. We'll have fun. Get up, Daddy. Get up. I haven't rode a bike in a while, gang. I'm going to ride oh, up and down there for you to watch this Okay. We have just run to Publix quickly and done a food shop before everybody arrives in about 20 minutes now. I can't wait to see everyone. I think tonight we're just going to have a night here because they've obviously had a massive journey. Just got some chicken, pizza, um, these like mozzarella sticks are literally so delicious. They're like the best things I've ever read. Um, we just thought it'd be easy for the kids. They requested, obviously coming straight over from the UK, they like want their American stuff. So we got them some Lucky Charms and some Cheeto puffs as well. And I got some of these um, Oiko, Oikos, Oikos protein yogurts. Um, we got some potato salad for tonight because we're going to have like chicken salad. Um, which is here we just picked up a few different salad kits because the salad kits out here are so nice we've got this cheddar ranch one and bacon caesar and peaches that was a personal preference because my craving in this pregnancy is peaches it has never gone away some parmesan for our salad um what else did we get we got some baguettes for just like lunch times and snacks for the kids 
with some tuna, some mayonnaise and butter, some grapes and cucumber. The kids literally had that pack just going around the shop because anybody else's kids have to do the same thing. They're like, oh, can I have one? Can I have one? And you're like, yeah, can you set me by it? And they're like, a new older streams, mum. Oh, I got these as well because these just came out of the bakery. And I thought, like, what a treat for the kids when they get here. These chocolate chip m, &M cookies. Then I picked them up and the other lady was like, they are fresh out of the bakery. I thought, well, that's just freaking perfect, babe, because I'm about to see all my nieces and nephews that I've missed so much. Got a couple of packets of crisps. Yeah, we've got some Fanta Zero over there. And that's about it. Ready for some fun. So I'm going to give you guys a quick Airbnb tour before they arrive. I am going to be honest, guys, like... I've never really been able to be much of a, I don't know, like I always get so like nervous, not nervous, but I don't think that's the right word, but like it's a bit shy whenever I vlog around other people, which is why you don't ever really see my friends and other than Katie, because Katie is like the other half to me. <laughs> much of my family, I know I used to like when I first started YouTube 10 years ago, but yeah, the older I've got, I've kind of just got like a little bit more, I don't know. I just feel a lot like more confident vlogging by myself. So I this is just me being really open and honest. I don't know how much vlog footage I'm gonna get, but obviously I'm gonna try my hardest. But I wanna give you guys a quick Airbnb tour before um, they get hit anyway. We've got a little outdoor porch bit with a barbecue down there. The garden kind of wraps the whole way around. This is the kitchen. We've got a nice living space here. Um, in this corner of the house, we've got a couple of different bedrooms. And if you come through this side of the kitchen, you've just got a laundry room that takes you out to the garage. Here you have a nice dining area. This is the front door here. So if you walk in, this is the view. It's a really beautiful home. Office area right there. Through here is um, our room that we are gonna stay in. It's a different vibe to the other house. I would say the other house felt a lot more like, um, what's the word? Like beach cottagey. Got another room in here. Donkey. Donkey. Another room in here. And then this is the coolest room of the house. Hello, donkey. This is where Lucy's kids are gonna sleep, I think. No, this is, I'm gonna sleep. Oh, you're gonna sleep in here, are you? Jesse. Okay. So cool though. Imagine having this as like just your childhood bedroom. Like, what a vibe. Come on! Everybody, we are out for dinner this evening. It's our second night. I haven't really vlogged anything because it's just been so nice catching up with everybody. Um, but <laughs> we basically swapped one child each in our family. Saint now belongs to the Carters, and Bella, one of Lucy's twins, is so in love with Romeo and loves to help me look after him. Don't you, sweetheart? She loves to be near him. Anyways, we've come out for a bit of dinner this evening. It's such a nice night. We have come back to Alice Beach. Um, we're now staying up at the other end of 30. I think I've mentioned that. But we've come back to the area we were staying to go to a restaurant called George's and I just really want to show them Alice Beach and Rosemary Beach because honestly, like, I don't think we've ever known an area like it in the world, have we, Con? But we've never traveled to anything it's like sure, Alice yeah. Beach or Rosemary Beach. You gotta see it. At least once in your life, you know? Can you imagine if we end up moving to Alice Beach next year? Like, can you imagine that con? Okay, so these are the shops of 30A Alice Beach. The, whoa, don't all follow me. There's a really nice baby shop there. Oh, it's happy hour, yeah? Eight for eight pounds. My sister's fallen just as in love with the shop as I knew she would. <laughs> This is a shop called Summer Story in Alice Beach and they just do the most insane pieces. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the console table that we had in the last Airbnb that I fell in love with in the last vlog. They do it here, but it's $11,000. Look, it's so amazing. And I also love all of these pieces of art above here. They're just so gorgeous. I think we're gonna have to DIY 
some things like that. Nice and cute. This is just like my dream decor. Okay, dinner has arrived. We are sat outside. We've pretty much all gone for the same thing of the most be beautiful pasta I've ever had in my life, which is this like uh, white wine fettuccine Alfredo dish. It's so delicious. Everybody is happy and it's a beautiful evening. Hello, little baby. Little baby. <laughs> I believe I'm pregnant again like can you guys believe we're doing this again together good morning guys so listen I don't know whether or not this is going to be at the start of the vlog uh middle through the vlog it's just all a bit crazy our life has just been so much fun since we had um Lucy and Jordan arrive but we are back in Houston and I haven't had a chance to pick up the camera yet this morning um but we are actually about to walk into our 20 week anatomy scan. I have a whole chat about the gender reveal and stuff like that, which I'll go through with you after the scan, but right now I'm actually late, so I need to get going. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, is it? Hello, baby. Oh. Hello, baby. Aww. Look at the baby's little feet. Okay, 20 Baby weeks, five days. Three. Yeah. What would we uh, do without you? Grow my little gang. Okay, another day. Another baby appointment. Another vlog entry on this vlog. I don't even want to know how many vlog entries this vlog actually is made up this of. This is I like, a, like it's 10 hundred. It's like a month long vlog. Yeah, what it feels like. Is. Just like a two minute <laughs> entry every but, day. Mm. You would have heard our psychic for the day. He's the singer. Ah 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 That's not Singing, singing. Good singing. Having Lucy and Jordan here is just the best thing ever. Like I can't even tell you just how much fun it is. Yeah, it literally is. Like I can't even believe how when you kind of like get all the kids together, they just kind of like sort themselves out and look after themselves. It's such a like feels like we've literally got the kids at daycare every day. Like Jensen picks romeo up and like moves them around it's just so sweet and they're just all the best of friends but having them here is just the best thing ever and i love obviously spending quality time with them and honestly we're not doing much like other than being parents we're kind of just chilling the kids go to bed and me and lucy will watch a bit of kardashians and it's just really nice to just get like that sister time in so i don't find myself picking up the vlogging camera as um as much as i thought i would be but honestly just because i enjoy really being in the moment with her and with the kids and it's just so much fun having them here so having said that life does resume as normal and like i said we do have another baby appointment today so yesterday we had our scan which you guys would have seen it was really 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 special to see the baby um i know i was going to talk to you about the gender reveal actually we have updates and stuff on that i promise you guys i am not trying to drag this out i don't want it dragged out just as much as you don't want it dragged out but with being away and then having lucy and the kids here like finding the time to actually like do a gender reveal is a little bit harder than i am um, first imagined and i promise i promise you guys i will get a gender reveal up um but you guys are gonna have to be patient with me and i really hope that doesn't make you angry and like i've said the chances are that this is probably our last baby so it's the last time i'll ever do a gender reveal you know so just give me a little bit of time you guys will know before you know it and i'm so thankful and appreciative that you guys actually are like so invested it, it's like so lovely to know that so many people care about our little family and um yeah just love you guys so much so today we have our appointment that is um like going over the scan results because yesterday was our anatomy scan so um we measured the baby's brain and heart and organs and everything like that they literally gave you like nothing back they just did the scan and that was it um i was like is everything okay they were like we can't really officially say and i was like okay so i'm really hoping that we walk in today and that everything is fine which i'm sure it will be because this is our third time doing this huh do you think these change 
I think he's like changed. His looks have changed slightly over the last couple of days. You're maturing, aren't you? You've got your skate park shirt on. Why has he got a Cheeto on his shorts? Uh, I don't know. Come on, quick. He is getting so big. Think about how big he's going to look and feel when baby arrives. Oh, come on. Good job, Romeo. Romeo's such a dad. Hold on. Hold on. Dane is at the pool with his cousins today. Oh, you know where you're going, do you? <laughs> you know Thank you. Saints t shirt, just to give you guys a little bit of a radar on how big Romeo actually is. That's literally two to three, two to three yeah. He's 15 months. Come on, mate. We're going in this way, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Brother reporting to duty. Oh, Big brother. Boys, we just chill out now, don't we? We just chill out now, don't we? <laughs> Got ya. <laughs> Get back here. We're so torn between cutting it and keeping it. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, your hair. Lovely. It's so hair. beautiful. I want to keep it. I want to keep it too. He needs a trim or something. Maybe on his fringe. That's the maximum. Look at that. Oh. Because I just worry that we're so blinded by love. Like. We didn't get Saint's haircut for a long time after he was born. And now we look back at And now we look back and we're like, like, he could have done with a haircut a lot sooner than that. <laughs> so what are we doing, Romo? Huh? Oh, no, what's that? Look! Doggy. Doggy! Doggy! Oh, right, you guys, any issues or concerns? Hello, everybody. First and foremost, I want to start by apologising for the hecticness and craziness and non-settled downness of this vlog. I think in all of my years of uploading videos onto YouTube, this has probably been the most like... Hectic, is it? Just not on. I'm giving myself like a minus E grade for this vlog. Ellie. Are you going to be like when we've got three kids running around? I know. You're going to be like... Well, no, this is a practice run because we've got... Six kids running around at the moment. And we I'm just do like, have six kids running around. I don't. I think it's no secret. Like I know in the most recent vlogs, like being in Florida and stuff, I feature Saint and Romeo a little bit more than I usually do. Um, but it's just not in my nature to like pick the camera up and vlog when we've got kids, really. Um, yeah, because we're so immersed with them. Especially, but like when it's not just our kids too, yeah, like our nieces yeah. and nephews. I don't just love like, hi guys, what are you up to? I just don't really, you know. It's nice just to like kind of let them do their thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but baby checkup, how did it go yesterday? Everything was fine. Absolutely fantastic. I feel like my Our O1B said baby. O1B. Obgen. Obgen. Sorry. Is that what they're called? Obgens? O B G Y N, not OB1. Oh, okay. O B G I O N. <laughs> Obgens. Our obgenery. No? No. Our obgen. Just ob. Obgen. Just ob. Just, our just doctor. say doctor. Our, doc our doctor said baby is thriving in there. Yeah. All good. All good. Growth scan. All fine. Checked off. Everything was checked. I feel like there's just... I'm like... I feel so pregnant And we now. saw the feet. Have we, have we said that? Yeah. Why does the feet... I don't know. No. Because the baby's that big now. You can see feet. You yeah, know, that's how far along we are. We saw baby in the scan. It was so surreal. I just don't feel like you ever get used to anything like this. We saw the baby yawn, suck their thumb. I wasn't there. I was walking you around, around at this point because Romeo was... Like, get me out of it. Yeah, I'm I am number one <laughs> at the moment. So I have all eyes on me. Come on, Dad, we're going for a walk around this surgery. Yeah, but all was good. And yeah, I just feel so pregnant. Like, I woke up this morning and this might be termite but i know my pregnant girlies will like relate you know when you just kind of ache a bit mm. down there and it's like the womb is like cervix is like there's a baby in there oh here we go again that was the first time i've had that feeling in this pregnancy and i 
I'm technically 21 weeks now at the time oh, of recording this. Over halfway. I know. High fun. I know. So, yeah, but it was so cute. And anyway, today we are off to a water park, actually. Um, I feel like we've lost Saint to the Carters. Yes. He is just, like, checked out with our fam. He has He's gone like, off with them guys, today. Guys, you aren't cool anymore. I know. Romeo is just asleep upstairs at the moment. When he wakes up, we're going to go and join them. We're going to get a packed lunch and things like that. But I wanted to come on here and finish off this vlog. Life is just, it just all feels a bit crazy at the moment. So that, that I feel like that's why this vlog just mm. is a bit wild. Like we are, I feel so lucky to have the like crazy fun summer plans that we are having. We are actually going um, off on another little getaway with everybody this weekend. Um, so I'm going to, gonna, I'm going to vlog that. And that's going to be like back to normal yeah. vlogs. It's just because... Both kids don't have childcare at the moment because obviously family's in town, so we don't really have time to work or do yeah. anything yeah. for ourselves. So it's all just a little bit chaotic. It's just parents, one hundred percent, around the kids. And yeah, like I said, I don't love love. I don't mind every now and then, but like I don't, I just don't. I'm not really into like vlogging the, with the kids too much anymore. Next weekend is when I actually go back to the UK. <sighs> So, oh, no, I've got the kids all by myself. For a week. You'll be fine. But who wants a dad vlog? If anyone's interested, oh my god, they so would want a dad vlog. A dad vlog for the week. You should do that. They would <laughs> leave so a comment love down that. below. And I'll do like a solo mum. Yeah, and we'll see how around. different our weeks are. Yeah. You'll be in first class, living <laughs> it up on the plane. And I'll, be here, I'll be here slumming it, trying to get it through <laughs> each day. By the end of the day, I'll be like, <gasps> So yeah, leave a comment if you want to see. Oh, uh, that would be so funny. We should do that. Vlog. And we should like put them side by side. <laughs> like on the screen. <laughs> You'll be relaxing yeah. in the lounge. Yeah. Champ oh, no champagne. Mocktail. But there's just a lot going on uh, at the moment. So um, if we're a little bit just like not our usual selves upload wise on here, then that would be why. But um, before long, we'll, you know, summer will be over. And then it will be on full on like countdown to mm. baby finally do a gender reveal and yeah but i'm loving having them here like loving having them here it is so nice isn't it? yeah and i want to do like a big chat all about it not right now but in the next vlog um mm. it's just it's just really really nice to have them here and just a bit of uh one-on-one -on -one, like talking to another human being you know <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I know I get that with you, darling, and that's the best experience of my life, but we're still yeah. yet to make loads of friends out here, so it's just nice to have, you know, someone to talk to on a daily basis about oh, annoying God. the couple of friends we got. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, like, obviously it's been a few months since we last saw them, so I was really looking forward to seeing them anyway, but it's almost been like even more pleasant than I ever imagined it being. And I think it's because when you move away to a new place, I think, well, for me in my experience, there was a bit of a, and it's not like a conscious fear or like a conscious worry, but there's a bit of a like subconscious feeling going on that kind of everyone else's life back at home is like moving on without you and you're missing out on everything. And um, I don't know, not like that the like, relationship and friendship isn't there as much as it is but of course it's like a different di you get used to a, a different relationship and a different dynamic with them because like there's a six hour time difference um you're so busy like everyone's so busy with their own lives and you just kind of don't have you obviously don't have that same like quality time that you do when you live near each other but having them here is literally like it's like not a day has passed and that's given me so much i think confidence might be the word to just like keep on doing what we're doing out here because at the end of the day it doesn't matter how long we're out here for whether it's one year two year three years more um five years six years seven year more <laughs> those relationships and those connections like nothing can break that you know and just seeing all the kids like even saint like with the kids so saint has obviously just turned three and I, I don't know like how much he remembers. Like obviously we talk about everybody a lot and we FaceTime everybody a lot, but you don't know how much they remember at that age of like what life was like six months ago. Uh, same. 
But he Saint remembers Saint remembers everything. His memories better than mine. And yeah, it just is literally like even for them, like not a day has passed. So that's just it's just so so nice and just so lovely. So really, just trying to make the most of it. And I know you guys will really understand like the lack of footage and stuff like that but it's just i just think it's so important to just live in real time and sometimes it's important to take a step back from social media and back from being online and just check in with the things that really 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 matter and i mean this is like the once in a lifetime summer for us having them here and experiencing this all together um before we become a family of five with three children so anyway just wanted to come on and say love you guys so much i'm so grateful for you thank you so much if you made it all the way to this bit of the video and this video is like probably the worst vlog i've ever uploaded in my life love you and appreciate you more than you know honestly thank you so much for sticking around you guys are the best friends i was just making us a bit of um breakfast and then we need to actually make pet lunch we need to go to the shop and get some tuna and more bread for our pet lunch at the water park Anyway, see you guys, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Love ya.